I was a huge fan of the UK series before I even knew it was coming to the States. I actually saw season three before I saw season one, which is weird. Um, but I'm a huge fan of Generation 2 as well as the people we're trying to portray. <laughs> um, it's just, and it, I mean, everything about the show to me was just so impressive. The young writers, the young actors, especially because I wanted to be an actor and I was, I was younger and had no idea what I was doing. It was really cool to see a show with kids that had never done it before and that were really just, you know, reading lines and trying to do their best, the best they could. So it was kind of inspiring. Well, um, my parents were actually the ones who showed me the first two seasons of Skins, which is kind of weird, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I, I love the show so much and I love Generation 2, just everything about it. I, a favorite thing about the show is that it's just really real. Like, you can see something that they're doing and say, oh, that was me and my friend, like, yesterday. And it's just like, I love that. It's so natural. Yeah. Uh, with mine, uh, my mom was like a huge fan of Slumdog because Dave Patel was in it. And he's like, Ronnie, you could be the next Slumdog. I was like, Mom, <laughs> Danny Boyle's not going to make Slumdog too. <laughs> and then she was like, no, no, tell your agent to send a tape. I was like, Mom, calm down. And then she was like, you know, he was on the show called Skins. And then I searched him online and he was on it. And I was like, this shit is good. So this, this thing is really good. Like, <laughs> Taya's storyline kind of crashes into so many others yeah. on the ser on the show that I think for a lot of people who are, are kind of wondering, you know, why are you making an identical remake, that storyline is a perfect example of why we're not because mm -hmm. it, it really throws everything off balance. Um, and also she's an incredible character and I've grown to love her so I hope other people will too. Of course, you know, Maxie was amazing and I understand why people are upset but with everything else on the show, I think yeah. as soon as people give it a chance, they'll probably warm up to it. Can you give us any hints about storylines that Tay's going to crash into? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can tell you that she's a very confident girl, yeah. and I can tell you that she's comfortable with who she is in the same way Maxie was. Um, I can't tell you who on the show uh, she kind of crashes into, but it, it's more than one person. It's more so. than one person. That's the thing. Um, yeah. Daisy's kind of the most responsible one in the group, the one who is really like caring about her friends like make sure like everyone is solid like so. watching out for everyone and um she's really passionate about um playing trumpet and she's also like takes care of her like her little sister and her dad too so she's kind of just taking care of everyone and sometimes i feel like daisy just wants to be herself a little bit uh abood is uh really confused and horny and he loves girls and he has a best friend who's a lesbian. Um, so most of it is like, you know, him trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life because his parents are really conservative and really Muslim. And then there's the other aspect where his friends are like really crazy and wild. So he's trying to like discover himself along the whole process. And he's also like kind of looking for true love. I see him as like almost a hopeless romantic because like he tends to be this like, I love girls, y'all babes all over me. But like really it's like... Um, he like makes out with a girl who'll probably fall in love with her kind of thing. I think the thing about Skins that makes it so different is that the people behind the show are the people that are watching it. You mm -hmm. know, the writers and the teen advisors. When you're when you're watching television, you want to be able to relate to it. And I think that um, unlike any other show on television, the show is by teenagers for teenagers. And it's kind of by outcasts for outcasts too. Yeah. yeah, I think I've kind of experienced a wide range of sex scenes. Um, <laughs> they're all uh, challenging, but actually, now that we've wrapped, I can honestly say that it was nowhere near my my uh, Harder, toughest day yeah. on set. I think I like Camille. I kind of have like the the special talent of my character as an aside, like for dancing. That was so much harder. <laughs> um, much more time went into that, and you know. I, I always say this, and we have no experience, so I, I don't know, but yeah. I think we have the greatest crew ever. ever. Yeah. They're and so down. incredible with us, and to go on set and do something like that, you really need a, a bunch of people around you supporting you and, and comforting you, and that's exactly what they did. Mm -hmm. And um, both of our directors, Scott and Samir, kind of talked us through everything, but also, also left a lot of it in our hands, so we all felt con confident going mm -hmm. into it. Uh, m my first... Um, my first sexual scene with a girl was definitely an experience, <laughs> um, but it, you know, it's it's just another part of her character that I had to try to connect to, and um, I was lucky enough that a couple of the girls I kissed were really pretty. <laughs> yeah, they're so, pretty hot. Yeah, some of them were pretty hot.
<laughs> I wish. What about you guys? I'm not going to go. Um, I think that sex scenes are really funny. Like, in between yeah. the takes, it's They're just kind of jokes. like jokes lying there with your friend. Like You call each other bros bed. and stuff? Yeah. It's, really, <laughs> it's, it's, really it's not as hard as, like, play trumpet, for example, or Northern Soul. Or, or even the more emotional scenes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, even though that now that we've done filming, we're always in touch through Facebook, through phones. Mom, we have we finished only two days ago. Sorry. We've been together every day since. I miss you guys. <laughs> can't, I can't say that. You can say Jesus it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get me home. Okay.